I don't buy new cars. I don't buy brand names. I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money. I like to find bargains. It's the life I chose. Well, how y'all doing? It's Papa again. I wanted to tell y'all about a tool that I picked up at Harbor Freight. And uh, those of you have been with me for a while, you know that I make a, a lot of these videos for the purpose of educating my grandchildren because hopefully someday maybe they'll be interested in stuff like this. Right now they're too young to care. But I'm trying to sort of just leave this to the, to the grandkids, so bear with me. Uh, but what I wanted to talk to you about was something similar to a micrometer. And that's digital calipers. And what digital calipers do is they give you a really, really accurate measurement. And I'm working on this lawnmower here. And this lawnmower was made in 1996. And the spindles that the, the lawnmower blades are attached to, let me show you. This goes up in the deck. Well, the spindle assembly, if you can get one to replace on that because the bearing went bad, is $99. And there's two of them. Well, y'all know me now, I like doing it cheap. And before I paid $99 a piece for some spindles, let me just figure out what's wrong with the spindles I've got. And what happened was this thing was burning, burn up a belt. And the reason it burned up the belt is because the motor would spin like crazy, no problem, the engine would run. But these bearings were so rusted that they wouldn't turn. And that spindle off that blade was up, sticking up through there, and heck, it was stuck to it. Nothing was turning. So I knocked this bearing out and I put it through a Vi ultrasonic cleaner. I use my super duper penetrating oil that I make. I wash it in gasoline, kerosene, any kind of thing you think of. I use my super duper uh, penetrating oil, the homemade stuff. There wasn't nothing going to break this thing completely free. And then when I got it to move a little bit, I realized that it was so pitted with so much rust that it was just, it was never going to be good. And if I was stranded out in the middle of nowhere now and I didn't have any money at all, I would keep working with this and get it to where I could turn it and then finally put some new grease in there and put it back in and go on about my business. But I could buy a brand new bearing for a dollar and thirty-three cents. So I says to myself, I said, self, I will get me a new bearing. And while I was at it, I got some new bolts and nuts and washers. Put it all back together because the old nuts and washers on it was just eat up. But uh, let me tell you how the calipers work. Of course, I was thinking micrometer until I got in the store and it's not technically a micrometer. But they're very, very accurate. And the way this little tool does is it 
this piece right here. See how that slides in and out right there? So it got turned, yeah, it's turned on. And what this does then, there you go, you can see the different numbers on it. What we want to do is we want to measure that bearing so we can order us a new one. So, this part up here, watch what that does. See that? See them jaws reaching out like that? That is to measure the inside of something. So I can bring that out and I can measure what the inside distance is. Okay? Now in millimeters got 19.84 but now these little things are so sensitive that <laughs> you might as well understand you're going to have to round off a little bit we're going to call that 20 and then the outside the outside of this measure 47.03 we we'll call that 47 and then the thickness of that bearing like that was 14.02 all right so we go online and we type in in the search box we type in bearing 20 by 47 by 14. It's always the inside diameter, then the outside diameter, and then the thickness. And that's all you gotta do. You just type that in in the search box in Google or whatever and search for it and it'll bring it up for you. One of the manufacturer's part numbers happens to be in this case a 6204-2 RS, but that's neither here nor there. We don't know what you're measuring. But that's how I'm going to save a couple of hundred bucks. Well, 190 something anyway. Well, I don't know. Count tax. What do you say? Anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use a dollar and thirty-three cents worth of washer. I mean a uh, bearing, and uh. Probably another 50 cents worth of nuts and bolts to bolt it back together. So four dollars versus 200 and some. You do the math. So that's how to use a caliper. I hope I've educated you on something there. And uh, they make them all different sizes. This one reaches up to four inches. This was part number 63710, if you're interested there at Harbor Freight. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Because I like doing it cheap. Yeah, I like.